second demo lecture of Bigo's online classes. In this video, we are going to take a binary tree question. You are given an expression tree. You have to write a function to evaluate that expression tree. Let us see what is an expression tree. If I am given an expression, say 2 plus 3, then an expression tree for this has operator as the root. So 2 plus 3 may plus is an operator or 2 or 3 are operands. So plus operator is at root and 2 and 3 are the leaves. So how the how the operation need to be applied is that the plus operator at root, uske left child ko evaluate karo, uske right child ko evaluate karo, left child operator, right child is the answer. So 2 plus 3 should be the answer. Now this was a very simple expression. If we have a complex expression like this, 2 plus 3 into 5 minus 2. So there is a subtree for 2 plus 3, there is a subtree for 5 minus 2 and then we are applying multiplication on the result of this subtree and result of this subtree. So multiplication need to be applied on the result of 2 plus 3 and the result of 5 minus 2. So 2 plus 3 multiply 5 minus 2. How do we define binary trees? Binary trees are defined that binary tree has a root and all the other nodes are divided in left subtree and right subtree which in itself are binary trees. So binary tree in its definition itself is recursive. Binary tree in its definition is recursive. Binary tree ko hum define karte hai ki binary tree mein ek root hoti hai aur baki sari nodes are divided in left subtree and right subtree. Both of these are binary trees themselves. So easily most of the questions of binary trees very easy to solve using recursion. And in recursion, we solve it for the root and we leave the solution, we leave the solution of left subtree and right subtree to recursion. Hum keval root ke liye solve karte hai aur left subtree aur right subtree ko solve karna recursion ki responsibility hoti hai. Alright? So let's try to write a function for this. My function should be returning integer. What should be the signature of this function? My function should be returning an integer. Let us say that all the values are integers. In the expression tree, if you notice, all the operators, all the operators are non-leaf nodes and all the operands are at the leaf nodes. All the operands are at leaf node and all the operators are at non-leaf nodes. Because operator need to be applied on certain operand and operand will be the operand will always be child of that operator. If it is a binary operator, then there will be two children of that operator. If it is a unary operator, then there will be just one child of that operator. Operator node. If it is a binary, if it is a binary operator, then there will be two children of that operator node. If it is a unary operator, then there will be one child of that operator node. But operator node can never be at a leaf node because operator need to be applied on certain operands. Operand on the other hand does not need does not need for the children. Operand is a value in itself. And therefore, operand exists as a leaf node. So what we need to do is that if, if, if it is a leaf node, then we will return the value of that leaf node. If it is a non-leaf node, then we evaluate the value of left subtree and right subtree and apply the operation on this particular node to those two values. For simplicity, let us assume that only four operators are allowed. Plus, minus, multiplication and divide. For simplicity, let us also assume that all the operands are single digit operands. Okay, well, single digit integers. So that we can have a uniform structure of the node of the binary tree. So structure of the node in this case will be So this is the structure of the node. Each node has a data which is character each node has left pointer and right pointer which are null in the case of leaf nodes and which are not null in the case of non-leaf nodes. The character data can be either an operator or an operand. For example, in this case, the character at root is star. Character at plus position is star, this position is minus. Character at this position is plus, character at this position is minus as a character. Similarly, character at 2 is character 2, whose integer value is actually 50. And similarly, the rest of the things. 
All right. So with this in place, let us jump to the code. Our function should be accepting a pointer to the root of the expression tree and should be returning an integer value, which is the value of that expression tree. So we will be calling this evaluate function recursively for left subtree and right subtree if my current node is an only node. If my current node is a leaf node, then I don't need to call the function recursively. I just need to return the value that exists at that particular leaf node in the integer format. We are subtracting 0 because the value stored is in the character format. So if the value stored is 2, the actual integer value stored is 50. But we need to return 2. So we subtract character 2. We subtract character 0 from character 2 and the answer comes out to be integer 0, integer 2. So we subtract character 0 from character 2 and the answer comes out to be integer 2 because character 2 means 50 and character 0 means 48. So 50, 50 is the actual value that is stored inside that data, 50 minus 48 is 2. If it is a non-leaf node, then we need to evaluate the left subtree and the right subtree and then apply the operation on those left subtree and right subtree. Now if it is a non-leaf node, then the data stored in that non-leaf node is actually an operator. If it is a non-leaf node, then the data is stored in that is an operator. So we need to evaluate the left subtree, then we need to evaluate the right subtree and we need to apply the operator that exists at the root on these two values. So x will hold the value which comes from evaluation of left subtree. Evaluate left subtree and store the value in the x. Similarly, x holds the value of left subtree, y holds the value of right subtree. We need to apply operator r arrow data on this left subtree value and right subtree value. So let me write a helper function for this. So let us say that apply operation is a function that applies an operator on two values. This helper function can be written very easily. Let us write the code of helper function first, apply operation. Character operator, character operator and integer values, two integer values. Integer x and integer y integer x and integer y. So let's call them a and b. Let's call them a and b so that they don't get confused with these x and y. We can apply a switch statement or an if else statement to see what this operation, what this operator actually is and then, and then apply the values. If operator is equal to multiply then return a into b else if operator is equal to plus return a plus b else return a minus b. So let us say, let us assume that we are honoring only three operators multiplication, addition and subtraction. So if the operation is multiplication, then return a into b. If the operation is plus, then return a plus b. Otherwise the operation is minus and return a minus b. And return a minus b. So let me just write it more clearly. Else return a minus b. A minus b. Now this is a full fledged function. Now this code works really fine, we just need to put one more terminating condition which you should always keep in mind while accepting pointers. Since r is a pointer, r can be null. If r is null, then we need to return some value. So if r is equal to null, then we it means that the tree itself is null, so we can return 0. You can very well throw an exception from here. So if this question is asked in the interview, then you don't need to implement the actual function because the actual function requires to honor you lot of operators. Operators are very 
and your <coughs> apply operation function and your apply operation function should honor all these operators उनको उन सारे operators का इस एंड में रखना चाहिए operators ऐसे भी हो सकते हैं जो unary operators हैं ऐसा जरूरी नहीं है कि operator binary operator ही होगा so if it is a unary operator then there is no then the number of operands is one so you need to consider that condition also but if this question is asked in interview then you can take certain assumptions similarly the operands will not always be integers so you may require to write a template function in C++ or in Java. Even if the operands are integers, they may not be single digit of integers. So, integer can be 20, 32, 42. So, you may need to define different structures for operator node and operand node. And those two structures will have a common parent which is the structure node. But in the interviews, this is how we solve the questions. We make certain assumptions and we solve the questions for the minimalistic case. Now the interviewer may ask that what is the time taken by your function? How much time is your function taking? If our function is visiting. Our function is visiting node but cable is going to visit. Our function is visiting each and every node only once. If there are n nodes, hai, if there are n nodes in the expression tree, then our function will take on the order of n time. Because at each node, the amount of work done is constant. Our function is visiting node but cable is going to visit. उस नोड पर द अमाउंट ऑफ वर्क डन इज कांस्टेंट और उस नोड पर द अमाउंट ऑफ वर्क डन इज कांस्टेंट व्हाट वी आर डूइंग एट ईच नोड इज दैट वी आर चेकिंग द वैल्यू इफ इट इज अ लीफ नोड देन वी आर जस्ट रिटर्निंग द वैल्यू इफ इट इज अ नॉन लीफ नोड देन वी आर कॉलिंग द फंक्शन अप्लाई ऑपरेशन अप्लाई ऑपरेशन हैज सर्टेन इफ एंड स्टेटमेंट्स इसमें कुछ इफ एंड स्टेटमेंट्स है बट दिस इज अ कांस्टेंट टाइम ऑपरेशन सो एसिम्प्टोटिक टाइम टेकन बाय द फंक्शन इज ऑन द ऑर्डर ऑफ एंड how much memory is this function taking? Now, the memory taken is not constant because the function is calling itself recursively. When the function calls itself recursively, then the amount of memory taken is defined by the total number of function frames or activation records that exist at a particular time in the stack. On a particular time, we are deep diving inside one path of the tree. If there are n nodes in this expression tree, then height of the tree will be on the order of log n. So at any particular time, the maximum number of activation records inside the stack can be log n. So the, the memory taken by this function is on the order of log n. Alright, so I hope this is clear.